Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have something really cool. It's new, it's been asked for for years and years, and that is the ability to create calls and meetings through the normal Zoho workflow editor. Basically what that means is based on an automation, for example, a deal is closed, you can auto book a meeting to send to the client X amount of days from the deal close date if you have kind of an onboarding process or something like that. So there's a lot of really cool features in it. In today's video, I'm gonna show how to find it, how to use it, and some cool little tricks with it. It's a brand new feature by Zoho, and I encourage you to try it out. And until now, you had to write code to do this, so it's super exciting. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. And join my office hours. I can show you how to build this, how to work with this. The group setting, and you can meet me and a bunch of other clients. Enjoy the video. Okay, so let's get into this. So where you're gonna find this new feature is under the workflow rules. Create rule. I'm just gonna create it for the deal. Name it test. And so I've been through other videos on how to create workflows, best practices, all of that. I'm not gonna go through that today. I'm just gonna hit create. Maybe I'll put a condition name is not empty or something, right? And then down here, you'll see you have the activity tab here, which is new. So basically, what you're gonna have here is task, call, and meeting, right? And so they're basically all the same. And until now, you had task for years and years, but now I'm gonna walk through meeting and explain how call works as well. So a scenario you might use this in, I mentioned this in the intro, but let's say, for example, you have a process where when you close a deal, let's say you're a publishing company or something, when you close a deal, you wanna send out a meeting invite X amount of days after the deal is closed to an internal staff member or even to an external client. You can now do that through this workflow rule. So I can go here, activities, I can hit add meeting, and then it kind of brings you through the builder. And for those of you that don't know, a meeting is an event, like a calendar meeting, right? So I can name it something, kickoff meeting. You can say when it's from, right? So you could say, okay, well, if I close today, I want it plus three business days. So today is a Friday, it would go on Tuesday or, or Wednesday, right? And then you would choose the time. You would say how long it is. So I could say 60 minutes as an example, or you could put all day. You could also do hours, right? And then this is the cool part. One of the cool parts, you can actually put the host. And so you can hard code it to a certain user, right? Or you can actually hit this drop down here and do a reference and you could take it dynamically from something, the deal owner or the client or whatever, right? And so the deal owner, as an example, would auto fill whoever the owner is their email and it would make them the host. Now, if the host is unavailable, so what it means by availability is it'll look at their calendar. If they're unavailable, then it'll assign to someone else. So you can, you can determine who it assigns to, or you could just assign a task saying this person's unavailable, right? So if you click this, it'll actually bring up creating a task. So it's a really handy feature. It's pretty dynamic, right? And now even further, if you're one of those companies that has a bunch of custom fields inside your meeting, maybe attendance status, outcome of the meeting, all kinds of custom stuff that you've made, you can fill that in too. So when you hit add more fields, you can go through this and actually choose other options or other fields and fill them in. And it's what you think. So you could put, for example, location, and then by using the hashtag, you can merge stuff in there, or you can just hard code it. As an example, in the location, maybe you bring in a Zoom link from the user table, right? Maybe they have a Zoom link in here. Or you could put the address of the account. And so you can be very dynamic here about this and it allows you a lot of flexibility. You can also book a call here, right? So if I click here, schedule a call. It's a very similar process. It would be outbound. You could put the trigger date. So that's the call start time, right? So you could put the call start time. You could say trigger date plus two days. So this might be a very relevant one for call centers. If you call someone and then uh, maybe, or you change the status of a, of a lead to attempted to contact, this could trigger and it could say, okay, trigger date plus two days. It'll schedule a call for you two days from now. Very similarly, you can assign who it goes to dynamically or not. You can also add more fields if you have custom fields in your call module. This is a super, super handy feature. I think the call one's going to be heavily used for call centers and follow-up processes. And then the meeting, I can see it be used in many ways. We have some clients that are in mortgage and insurance. Let's say they close a deal. You can book a meeting in your calendar for a year from now from when they close the deal to follow up with them on the anniversary of the deal. So you can do stuff like that. And if you're a very calendar centric or call centric person, these features are going to be great. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. 
Really hope you like this feature. Take advantage of it. It's getting rolled out by Zoho systematically to all accounts as we speak.